Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ho Yifen and Arena Crash. This is a game from Women's Master Tournament played in Istanbul, Turkey, in 2008. Ho Yifen had white pieces and she started with e4. Arena Crash played c5. Did you know that Arena Crash was seven times United States women's champion? Ho Yifen continued with knight to f3, the standard move, knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, and now e5, the Sveshnikov variation. And from d to b5, d6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, asking a question, knight to a3, b5 threatening b4. Bishop takes on f6, removing the defender of the d5 square. G takes on f6, knight to d5, f5, bishop to d3, bishop to e6, threatening to take the knight, maybe. c4, f takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, black to move, rook to c8 was played. If something like bishop to e7, then knight takes on e7. And after knight takes knight, bishop takes rook back to our game. Rook to c8. Ho Yifen castle the king's side. Bishop to g7. f4, intending to open the f file for the rook. Maybe. Knight to d4. Queen to h5. b4, attacking the knight. Knight takes on b4. Queen to b6. Knight to d5. Queen takes on b2. Attacking the knight on a3. Is the knight trapped? How would you save the knight? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Ho Yifen played f5. She said, forget about the knight. I go after the black king. Black to move. Bishop takes on d5. Bishop takes bishop. Capturing the white knight on a3 must wait for the obvious reason. Arena Crush castled kingside. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Ho Yifen played f6. The fisher's block. Bishop takes pawn. And now bishop to e4. Threatening checkmate. Rook from f to d8, making the room for the king to escape. Queen takes on h7, check. King to f8. White to move. White played a move and black resigned and the move is... Queen to h6, check. Arena crash resigned. In view of this continuation. King to e8 and then queen takes bishop and the attack continues. Winning the knight on a3 is not a good idea because of queen takes on f7 check mate and let's go back to move 24 how about bishop to g7 then rook takes on f7 check and after king takes rook bishop to d5 check king to f8 rook to f1 check king to e7 Queen takes on g7 check, king to e8, queen to f7 check, mate. And interestingly, the white knight on a3 survived. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.